In order for the high output Quad 4 to meet its performance and durability goals, many specialized manufacturing processes are employed. Microsizing and the single size pistons, cylinder bores, main bearings, and rod bearings it produces is an example of the high tech production techniques that have gone into this engine. As a result of the close tolerance design of the high output Quad 4, many service procedures must duplicate the original manufacturing processes. One of these processes is called torque angle. In the plant, under computer controlled conditions, the clamp load on individual fasteners can be precisely maintained. Service technicians must match these clamp loads using the torque angle procedure. The concept of torque angle is quite simple. In fact, it has been used by GM in the past on fasteners, including the head bolts on many GM engines. To achieve a torque angle specification, you must first tighten the fastener to a specified torque value, then continue to turn the fastener an indicated number of degrees after this torque threshold has been reached. In situations where multiple fasteners retain a component, these fasteners must first be tightened in their appropriate sequence to the threshold torque. After reaching the threshold torque, the sequence must be repeated, turning each fastener the specified number of degrees rotation. Torque angle specifications are a combination of Newton meters or pounds feet and degrees. Torque angle specifications can be found in service manuals, section 6A7 or in service bulletins. Here is why torque angle specifications are so important. As a fastener is tightened to pull two components together, approximately 80 to 90 percent of the torque load is contained in the friction between the threads and the friction between the bolt head and component surface. That leaves the remaining 10 to 20 percent of the torque load to hold the components in place. As the fastener is tightened, it actually stretches, much like a spring. It is this stretching action which holds the components in place. The more the fastener stretches, the greater its clamp load. However, a fastener that is stretched too much will shear at the head or in the threads. Since fasteners are made to very exacting specifications, engineers can control the amount of stretch and the number of threads per inch on critical bolts and studs. By knowing this information, they can calculate how much spring force a fastener will provide to a particular assembly without exceeding the stretch limits of the fastener material. This allows components to be clamped together by a load specified by the engineers. The high output Quad 4's red line of nearly 7,000 RPM means that many components will be subject to extreme vibration. In addition, the engine experiences normal temperature variations. It is heat and vibration which cause fasteners to loosen. High output Quad 4 engineers have developed torque angle specifications for assemblies that experience these extremes. The fasteners include bolts on the bearing caps, cylinder head, crankshaft, flywheel, and camshaft housing. Failure to properly torque angle these fasteners can result in excessive oil consumption, scored bearings, a broken crankshaft, a loose flywheel, or severe engine damage resulting from a broken connecting rod. When installing any fastener that has a torque angle specification, use a torque angle meter. The only exception is the harmonic balancer bolt, which will be discussed separately. This highly sensitive tool consists of two elements. There is a main unit housing a battery operated microprocessor that contains the readout and controls for the tester operation. And there is a sensing head that contains a strain gauge for measuring torque and an encoder system for measuring angular movement. The torque angle meter has a plus or minus 1% of accuracy over its entire range of torque and degrees of rotation, thus providing excellent results. The torque angle meter operates with either a half-inch drive wrench or a one-inch hex-end wrench. 
The meter is turned on by pressing the on-off touchpad at the top left-hand corner of the main unit. After a brief self-test, the set alarm message will be flashing, which is your notice to set the meter to the desired specification. To do this, press the operate set alarm pad on the panel to enter the set alarm mode. Then press the Newton meter foot pounds pad to select the unit of measurement desired. The display will read torque and either NM or foot pounds. Using the alarm up or alarm down pads, set the desired specification. The next step is to set the correct angle. Press the torque angle pad to enter the angle mode. The display will now read angle and degree. Using the alarm up or alarm down pad, set the desired angle specification. Once these specifications have been set, you can operate the meter. Press the operate set alarm pad. The set alarm message will no longer be displayed. The meter is now set to sound an alarm when the specified torque and angle is reached on each fastener. Press the torque angle pad to change from the angle mode to the torque mode. Apply the meter and tighten each fastener in the proper sequence to the specified threshold torque. Place the wrench on the first fastener to be angle tightened. Find a convenient place to clamp the sensing head anchor clip so that the lower portion of the sensing head does not rotate. Press the torque angle pad to change to the angle mode. Now press either the angle zero pad on the main unit or the angle zero button on top of the sensing head. Tighten the fastener slowly until the alarm sounds. The angle values will show on the display and the alarm will sound when the desired angle has been reached. Before moving on to the next fastener, press either of the angle zero buttons to turn off the alarm and zero the display. Here is how to use the torque angle meter on the cylinder head bolts. Start by installing the appropriate size socket on the meter's half inch drive. Set the alarm to the specified torque, which in this case is 35 Newton meters. Then set the specified angle, which is 110 degrees. Tighten the fastener to specification. When all fasteners have reached the threshold torque in sequence, return to the first fastener and switch the meter to the angle setting. Press the angle zero button, then turn the fastener until the specified angle is reached. Although this may sound like a complicated procedure, using the torque angle meter is actually quite simple. With a little practice, you'll find the meter a fast, valuable tool.